The atmosphere you, you will see here is something you will never see in your life, trust me. The life stops, you know, everything stops. Passion of Turks is just a, a complete, you know, another universe, let alone another world. It's the climax of the passion. Football is life in Turkey, that's for sure. Turkish Airlines have challenged me to visit 10 Euro countries in just 10 days, finding out what international football means to Europe. Well, what a way to start Meet Europe's Best. This setting, this view, it's unbelievable. So what I really want to know is what Turkish football fans think of their team's chances at the Euros 2016. The best way is to hit the streets of Istanbul and find out what the real fans are thinking. We've just left our hotel room here in Istanbul and the first thing you notice is just how many flags are hanging off residential buildings and apartment blocks and it really shows the pride the people of this country have in being Turkish. They're playing in one of the biggest sporting tournaments in the world and you really get the sense that this city in a couple of weeks when the Euro kicks off is going to be adorned with even more flags. What is it? Sweet, can I try? Fantastic. Now you don't watch football usually, but you'll watch the Turkish national team. Why does everyone, even if you don't love football, they still watch the national team? People want to win, just like this. Does the rivalry of the clubs, does it affect the love for the national team? No. The national team is another thing. When we talk about national team, the all clubs are connected. Does anything come close to the way the national team brings the country together? As football, no. No? No, you know, I really think it's, it's, it's so special. The energy is just unbelievable, you know, it's unbelievable, it's amazing. Just if Turkey won the Euros, what would happen? It would be very crazy. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, Maybe all who the world can hear our voice. Very happy. Beautiful. Very happy. That is everything I'm always talking about. He doesn't even watch the sport, he said himself. But for the national team and for tournaments like the Euros, he watches. Why? Because it's his country. Football and international tournaments, this is what it is all about. And it's so delicious as well. Now this is cool, I've just received a tweet from a football journalist called Vulcan, who we actually interviewed during the Istanbul episode of Derby Days. During that interview he told us all about club football in Turkey, but what I want to know from him this time is his thoughts on the Turkish national team and its place here in Turkey. I love the jersey, man. Good to see you again, come on, give us a hug. Bye. Oh. Even people who aren't football fans here in Turkey have told me the reason they love the national team and the tournaments is because it puts Turkey on the map. When you are playing in European or World Cup championships, you are on the map, as you said, and everybody is talking about you. Then when you go abroad, they are going to ask you about your national team, your nation, how are things in your country. They are learning things about your country and you, it's a possibility to teach people about your country. Now one of the purposes of this show was to show that football doesn't just introduce you to football cultures and football fans, but it introduces you to the rest of the culture in the city and country. You know, the music, the architecture, and of course, the food. And that's why I've got this guy with me here. He's a Turkish YouTube legend. His name is Hayret Tin. Football to Turkish is everything. Eric. What about food? Food is second name. <laughs> MashaAllah! <laughs> I for this. My least favorite thing is pickle yeah, food. You don't have to eat this. There's Donna Kebab across the road. Oh yeah? <laughs> What's this? One okay. night. <laughs> 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 it's funny. It's funny. If they can drink, you are crazy. Oh. Aman! Hoş geldiniz. <laughs> we are back in the airport, but Turkey, we completed everything we wanted to do with you. We met non-football fans and football fans alike who explained to us what the Turkish national team in this tournament really means to them. The next one is Albania. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to Kopanani and follow us all around Europe as we meet Europe's best.